Crushing you if you get in the way. Crush. Vince Carter winning the dunk contest. He was. You can't beat Vince no, Carter he, in the dunk he contest. He was here this All whole time. Bodies. Larry Nance Jr. joins us you now. You talking about Obviously. me? Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about you. Yeah, because no. you, did you hear, okay, <laughs> See, I was going to ask you. That's how you know what a great no dunker way. like Larry did still wow. is like, fuck no, I'm not like, dunking against Vince. There's not even anyone clo even like, close, like who's the closest? It's nobody, it's no, like, it's Vince Carter. Gordon, who's number two? I, everybody else. <laughs> That everybody is a, else. Everybody else. What a, everybody what a else. life Vince. Vince has made for himself. Yeah. Like Vince. no one even flinches when we talk about. It. All right, fair enough. Um, we got a we got a possible sweep on our hands here, sir, and um, we need an MVP in these finals. Who you got? I got Jalen Brown. Mm -hmm. I got Jalen Brown. My man has look. I, I'm so happy for the dude. Last year when he got they got knocked out of the playoffs, it was left hand this, left hand that, left hand this Finals MVP. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? He's playing so well, we forgot about the dunk contest. I didn't. It's always here. Okay. <laughs> I always remember it. Like, when he dunks in a game, oh, I Jaylen go... Oh, Brown. Yeah, yeah, that was... He, that he had a nasty... Oh, he wasn't... Oh. You guys, he tried oh, really mean. hard. <laughs> Stop it. His dunks in the playoffs are better than his, his actual game dunk dunks contest. are Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. And that's why I give him the benefit but, of the By the way, you're right, though, Larry. And we, we thought... <laughs> by the way, I, I didn't even bring this up earlier. If the whole Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum thing, Jalen Brown's would. better than him. If, I think he's playing better, but if I had to pick one of them for next year to start the season, I'm still going Jason Tatum. Not like I, I go either way. Like I, I still I think he's been great in the playoffs. I think he's obviously been more efficient. He's the way he's guarding Luca has been super impressive. But like I can't just see one playoff a year and then be like, yeah, you know what? He's better than Jason Tatum. I, I don't think, think it's just one playoff year. I think it's just big moments throughout the course. I just think we're we're getting it wrong. It, it doesn't matter pick. who's better. They're a duo. I don't know why we think we have to pick, Completely by the way. Agree. It's the dumbest argument. That we're Actually, it's when not Jay the dumbest. Kidd, like, tried to stir some shit up and then Smart. act like he didn't try to stir some shit up. Like, yeah, that didn't work out very well. Uh, talk to me about being down 3 nothing, um, mindset-wise. <laughs> 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 Well, I didn't know. Is there a better way to start that? There's such a jab. There's something about being dead. What the hell does that suck? Hold on, let me do that again. Larry got swept this year. Larry, your career has been amazing. Okay, fine. It's not even what it says. I tried to make it shorter. That's wild. Hey, man, that's literally not on his face. Yeah, that was just an attack. I was trying to. I didn't know you had it out for me. Like, I was sick. That was an attack. Guys, I'm done with you. It's fine. Crazy. If you were to ever be finding yourself <laughs> down. Oh, hypothetically, yeah, hypothetically. <laughs> what do you do? Like, what do you do with your mindset? How? I mean, if you're Luca, if you're Kyrie, if you're the Mavs right now, how are you even tackling today and tomorrow? I mean, it's just it's back against the wall, right? Like, at a, in a sense, it gets a little bit easier to play because the whole world's already expecting it. it it's over in the rest of the world's mind. Nobody's ever come back from it from a 3-0 so you've got nothing to lose to where that's sometimes when teams are the most dangerous you know what I mean when you play a team like uh this year when you play a team like uh Portland or Detroit or you know one of those teams that have guys just trying to scrap for their lives like that's some of the hardest teams to play against because they got nothing to lose so similar situation obviously you know at a higher at a higher scale but um, Boston's going to have to beat them I don't think Dallas is going to lose just go out and lose the series Boston's got to beat them again yeah Larry, the Pelican season obviously didn't end the way we, we wanted to, as, oh, Michelle, how is that as, better? as Michelle just pointed how out. Is that? By the way, and my question also it's so says... so much more polite. <laughs> oh, my God. And my question in the parentheses, it says swept, swept by the Thunder. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that like Michelle. <laughs> but you uh, still say that. Yeah. What is, the, what is the outlook? What's the expectation? The Western Conference is going to be loaded next year. What do you see from the Pels that's kind of going to separate you guys next season? Um, honestly, honestly, health has got to be it. You know, it's it's... It's a shame that we keep saying the same thing in terms of just our, you know, the what what requires our success is, is just health. But, um, you know, when, when, when big fellas on the court, we're a problem. Um, you know, in that series, you know, I, we'll never know now, but that series, in my opinion, looks a whole lot different if we get Z on the court. Um, and it's a shame because we shouldn't even been in the play in anyway, so he shouldn't have been hurt. Um you know, it, it, it's tough. Obviously, you know, like you said, the Western Conference is, is get, doing nothing but getting better. Memphis is going to come back healthy next year. Um, probably another big jump from from uh, the Alien in San Antonio. They're going to be better. Houston's probably better. Um, you know, one through 12 in the Western Conference are probably going to be playoff teams yeah. in, in, in the East. So um, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight. Like, think, think about the Western Conference. The only Portland, 
Yeah. Utah, besides that, Spurs are going to be better. Grizzlies are going to be better. It's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be Portland fun. Like I'm just yeah, saying, they're, 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 if I had to pick the worst team, it's going to be Portland or Utah, barring like a crazy free agency. But yeah. it's, it's loaded. They have literally 14 teams that can make it. Yeah, I couldn't agree yeah. more. Like Nance, I want to ask your opinion on something. You and I, we played for the Lakers for a few seasons together. Um, based on our experiences, what type of coach do you think would fit? Um, you know, knowing what we went through, knowing the history and everything that comes with being a Los Angeles Laker, what what type of uh, coach you think would be a good fit for them? Um, personally, I think a first time head coach is not the answer. Um, that's uh, the LA market is really hard um, if you've never dealt with something like that before. Uh, obviously, you know, you miss a shot, you know, you're the next fill in the blank. You miss a shot, you should never pick up basketball in your life. So. Um, it's just, it's tough. Like, I think uh, you probably need an established coach, which I can't necessarily put a name out there for that, but. Um, Somebody you definitely need with someone. some experience, though. Who is not to mention, yeah, not you to need mention someone with some kind of first yeah. year, like first time head coach that didn't work. So we're just going right. to hire yeah, another first timer. Like, would, I don't look, know. would you, you think need, your you former teammate Braun would be a good player coach? That's the answer. I'm going to say, I'm going to say no. Um, no, because a lot of times, like, the very best have a hard time teaching others how to do something because it comes naturally to them. Right. You know what I mean? So like there are certain times, um, there are certain times, you know, a coach will have to explain something and Bron, I'm not saying he's done this before, but there are certain times like he'll have to explain something. It's like, I just don't understand how you don't get that. Why can't you just take the ball, <laughs> take two dribbles and dunk on their bigs? Like just do it. <laughs> It's like, I, I don't know, you need someone with a little bit more um, that. But, but definitely wasn't somebody that, with it wasn't, it wasn't the greatest player ever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's um, tough. Yeah, yeah. Somebody with some experience. And obviously, like I said, I don't have a name. I actually thought I actually thought Vogel was really good for them uh, when they had him. But, Whoops. you know. Larry, another experienced coach tough you game. played for, J.B. Bickerstaff. He gets mm -hmm. the ax in Cleveland. We talked to Marcus Morris earlier, and we were like, was there a disconnect there? Because JB's my guy. I played for him. I've never had him as a head coach. So obviously, there's a different role there. There's a different relationship you have with players. Did you Were you surprised by that? Did you see this coming in that locker room? Was there like a disconnect there, or that's just something where they need a fresh face and Donovan just needed something different? Um, I mean, uh, I don't know. Obviously, like, I, I wasn't. I wasn't kept privy to everything that happened in that locker room. Um, you know, heard a little bit about, you know, my brother's on the team, so I heard a little bit about that. But it was it was more so, I don't know, I think that's just kind of the natural the natural cycle of the NBA. You know, you get, uh, you know, you've got a team that finishes, you know, top three in the conference or or has made the playoffs back-to-back -back years. You, you expect to improve and you expect to get better. And, and um I don't know. I, I'm a huge fan of J.B. Bickerstaff on and off the court. So, like, I, I never had an issue with him. Um, love the guy. I just uh, I just would have to imagine they're just, you know, you've got, what, four guys that have been all-stars? No, Mobley hasn't been an all-star. But three guys that have been all-stars, and, and, you know, Mobley's a ridiculous talent and defensive player of the year candidate. So, like, they've got all the talent in the world. It's just, you know, you just got to figure out a unique system, kind of like Minnesota did, as to how to play those two bigs together. I'm actually shocked you haven't heard, like, JB interviewing for the Lakers. Like, he would make more sense to me, like an experienced guy that could get the respect of that locker room. That would be a crazy turn of events. Yeah. If but, you get fired in Cleveland and end up in the Doesn't sound like it's going to happen. Yeah, no, that, I mean, I'd be happy for him. That's just a, that's just a funny twist. Um, with the Boston Celtics looking as dominant as they have been, there have been a lot of conversations already starting, like maybe this is the beginning of a run for them, you know, as far as player to player to player, how great are they on the pantheon of great teams? You once faced one of those great teams, the KD, Clay, Curry, Thompson Warriors. Like you just want to talk about me getting I'm swept, just trying to word it perfectly. <laughs> that's ridiculous. You're that's the that's dancing the second around. Time. That's the second time. If we get to a third, I'm I'm cutting this short. You're a I'm very out. nice man. Um, I'm going to ask you one more question. <laughs> no, so like, is that considered in your mind the top? Of the of the list, and if so, where would this Boston team sort of fit in? Uh, I mean, and, and and those two will tell you. You know, every year you play a certain team or teams where like you're on the court with them, and it just feels like okay, you're playing a different game than us. Um, and you know, the 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 to me, the bubble Lakers kind of had that feel. They were just like they had like four seven footers on the court at all what? times. It felt unfair. <laughs> they to me, they felt on a different level than the rest of the teams in the league, in my opinion. 
um, all right. when, when Milwaukee won that year. And when we were playing Boston this year, it was just like, all right, you guys, there's too many options out here. You know, you, yeah, there's too many options out here. So you, Boston, it was, we, I don't know. I had them picked from the second time we played them. It was like, yeah, these guys are really good. <laughs> but in terms of the Warriors, I don't think any of these teams are remotely close. Um, hmm. Even remotely close. I, that's the greatest team, in my opinion, the greatest team has ever been assembled. Um, you don't go 73 and 9 and, you know, that's the greatest team ever. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> rotate, you know, trapping Steph and having to rotate to KD and then Clay. I got nothing for you. You lose. <laughs> sure. It's like such sure. Avengers. Can't argue that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Larry, you lose. It's just. You are a minority owner of the Leeds United football team. How, first of all, how did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> how cool is that just being a part of, you know, an ownership group like that? No, man. Um, passion is, or soccer has been a passion of mine. If, if, I, if I could swap talents from basketball and go play soccer, I'd do it wow. in a heartbeat. So um, I love the sport. I watch every, every game that I can possibly get my hands on. Um, and so, you know, I knew it was something that I wanted to do, you know, once I got into the NBA, made a little bit of scratch. But um, the opportunity came, you know, came to uh, get involved with Leeds United and, and their new ownership. And, um, you know, I know we talked about I know we talked about Cleveland briefly in the summers just being so wonderful. Um, it, rem it reminded me a little bit of home, honestly, a Midwest feel, hardworking people. Um, so it was just the right fit. And it's been something that I've just had a lot of fun with. And. And, uh, you know, Premier League next year. That'd be fun. Love, and I know Joel, and I see Schroeder, I think, is playing over there. Is there an NBA player that you mm -hmm. think, who would be the best soccer player as, you know, an NBA player that could go over there? Hmm. Oh, none of us. None of us. None of us. No, uh, I mean, if, if, if maybe, a few, maybe a few keepers. Um, but I think yeah. tall for a soccer player is like 6'3". <laughs> um, so, you know, really none of us. Uh, we're all too big. Our feet are too big. We just... <laughs> just flop it you know, around now football, Now football. Now football. American football. Here we go. We mm -hmm. How, 30? 30 players from the league can go to the NFL? <laughs> Is that the number we're, we've decided? I think plus. Oh, yeah. wow. It's, I just think it was worded so differently. That, I, I think if it, it's not wrong to say 30 NBA players would have more success in the NFL than 30 NFL players would have in the NBA. That's I, the I, better? That, that, okay. and that's, I, and I think that is 1,000% accurate. I'll give you that. I think that was worded. I, here's, here's my thing with that. I think, like, we don't have – our, our game is a game of skill. We don't have players dra drafted in the NBA just – like, we got drafted in what position is he? Right. Athlete. Like every year, there's just NFL players drafted because they're just terrific athletes. That's true. They have that wrestler. And it's also, you don't make, it, you don't make yeah. it in the NBA. It's also not like we're like watching CD, Lee, CD Lamb play and be like, oh, he'd be a hell of a shooting guard. But no, no they'd be like, look at LeBron, <laughs> look at Larry Nance. He'd be a hell of a tight end. So it doesn't happen the other way, which should tell That's you fair. all you need to know. I, look, I never argued with you. I, I think it's a good argument. Um, I, this question is for everyone. There's a Harvard study out there, and it's Harvard, so you know it's smart, um, suggesting that Aliens. Do you know I like this type of stuff? Might be living amongst us. <laughs> I think so. This guy's is humans. Wait, this is real. Seems like a no-brainer to me. I, if so, who in the NBA is probably an alien? I've oh, had this theory for a long time, but this is Nancy's interview. Go ahead, Dad. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Lou loves it. I want to know the theory first. I mean, the obvious is Victor. Yeah, Williams. I don't think I don't think ahead, aliens Luke. are like the the conehead guys nope. that we've we've been. You think it's no. like Joe Mazzola? They're shapeshifters. Yeah, like somebody that's a little strange walking around. You ever, you've ever walked past somebody like, he's strange as hell. Like, he's not from yeah. here. Something's like, off with that cat. Yeah, something off with him. From I, here? I, so I agree so with Joe Mazzola. I agree with the study. <laughs> uh, okay, so Mazzola is your pick? Who, who? Yeah. Is, I mean, Wendy's the yeah. obvious one. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's my pick. I'm sticking so, yeah. to it. Kidding that's me? it? Yeah. No players? Sam Cassell, that's crazy. Why? Is this how he looks? No. <laughs> you ever talk to Sam? You ever, you ever talk to Sam Cassell? You are doing it because his physical appearance. Wow. You're, this is taking you're a bad assuming turn, Larry. I'm doing it. For, like, so <laughs> God, he's trying to. Yeah. I don't think Larry's buying the aliens are amongst us. I'm not Larry. either. He's uh, he's not touching this thing. Look. Oh, you think I'm going anywhere near that? I'm very Absolutely disappointed. Not. Very Absolutely disappointed. Absolutely not. No, look, I bet. Here, look, here, hold on. I bet. Here's the answer you were looking for. Yes, Victor Wembanyama's the alien. Obviously, yeah. he's We've the never leader. seen anything like him. It's crazy. Yeah. There you it's go. I'll just too politically obvious. correct that. Really? I've been media trained, by nope, the way. Nope, that was well done, sir. Larry Nance Jr. I have not. We appreciate no, he has it. We appreciate you, man. It's been a while. Enjoy your day yeah. and your time. Thank you, Larry. Guys, we'll be back. appreciate you having me on. Man. Talk to you.